Welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! Link Evolution, everybody. In today's episode, we should be wrapping up the Zexel portion, I'm pretty sure. Not actually sure, but I think we are. Wait, 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 was that Reverse Duel? Yes, it was. Alright. So, we're gonna actually go to use two new decks that I made, neither of which is actually an archetype. Uh, but instead, they were just other things that were kind of requested here and there, that, you know, different than just archetypes. Because especially after this last video where these hero decks just... Well, I, I mean, I guess this one, not the Neos one. This one was just completely OP up there alongside the freaking Blue Eyes deck that I made a while ago and the uh, uh, Salomon Grey deck as well. Because we saw that, we're going to go the complete opposite direction and actually do a normal deck. What the hell does a normal deck mean? A normal monster deck, aka a normalcy deck. Some people call it normalcy. It's the word normal and then you put um, CY at the end. Um... Okay, the game actually crashed there in the first couple turns, so I'm just gonna go ahead and restart the duel. It's fine. Um, so, I'm using a normal monster deck. The majority of my monsters are normal monsters, with a couple exceptions. I didn't start with the best hand, unfortunately. Um, aside from uh, maybe this, but I can special summon uh, a certain monster. We're gonna go with, yeah, we're gonna normal summon White Tiger Summoner, so I can special summon a level 4 lower normal monster from the hand. Um, it's funny because when it crashed, I actually had a much better starting hand and I made a lot of plays into the extra deck with it. So it'll probably take a couple of duels for me to actually show you the true potential of this, but all I have is a Link Spider, but that's not going to work with Blue Eyes White Dragon in my hand. Um, so, I think I'm just going to go ahead and set two cards. So, Fist of the Unrivaled Tenny is actually really good uh, because I have Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon as well. Uh, if it gets destroyed, uh, you'll see, you'll see. Now, if you activate any spell or trap, I can actually negate it if I have a normal monster. When it's normal summon, you can decrease to this card. Okay, that's fine. Don't really care. I got a Swords of Revealing Light. Um, do I want to do this? Probably. I don't really care about Ultimate Dragon. It's, I don't think you're going to find a way to actually do anything. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Are you? F Are we really, really gonna start this bullshit right now? Game, game. Really, really. That was ridiculous. I have to pass. Okay, this was going much worse, much worse than the other one. The other one was actually going pretty well. Like I, I made, I made so many plays, so much searching, so many special summoning from the deck, a lot of great stuff. Wait, what the heck? When this card is destroyed, the opponent's monster inside of the gravity. Oh, I see. I'm gonna activate Justy Break. This destroys all monsters on the field except face up attack position normal monsters. In this case, it works like a Mirror Force, but it's more fun to use Justy Break than Mirror Force, right? Okay, let's draw. That is actually pretty good. Part of the underdog, okay. But we have to actually have to pass because there's not really all that much we can do here. Unexpected Die is a good card, but only when you have no monsters. I'm also kind of like a sub thing here. I'm going with um, a lot of uh, Beast Warriors as well. I have Vorse Raiders, Andals, and Gene Warped Warwolf. What the heck is this? Okay. Oh, I see. It loses. That's fine. Well, at least I can go into my unexpected eye. Okay, so Swords is uh, going to be gone after this turn. Silent Doom. Uh, that is actually going to be interesting. Call the Haunted on that, um, I'm gonna probably have to do that, so I'll have a play here. Unexpected Eye is really good. If you control no monsters, special summon to level 4 lower normal monster from the day. It reminds me of A Hero Lives, except you don't pay half your life points. Um, but obviously this is much worse because it's normal monsters and A Hero Lives is any hero monster, so, you know. But I'm gonna go with, uh, let's go with the, I'm, I'm gonna use it for a play, so I'll just go for a 1900 attacker, I suppose. Let's go with Divorce Raider from the deck. And now we're going to go with a uh, Silent Doom here. We have to go into this. Silent Doom. We are going to special summon Gladiator Beast Andal in defense mode. And then we're going to go into a play over here. And we can go into Emerald. We can, I mean, we would have to go. We can also do Tornado Dragon. I'm going to go into Tornado Dragon. I have to do this. 
because I have to get rid of the carving or feel. I'm actually going to leave the swords there because I don't really care about attacking. I wouldn't attack into that Shoctopus anyway since it has a very good effect if it gets destroyed by battle. So um, I have to get rid of Call of the Haunted, I would say. Activate. Detach. But yeah, this one says... Uh, if it's disturbed by battle with the opponent's monster, you can equip this card to that opponent's monster. That monster attack becomes zero, and it cannot change its battle position. So, yeah, we're going to pop Call, because that is actually tied to Shocktopus. And we're going to end the turn here. We can't attack. Swords is destroyed. So now I'm in a, I'm in a good position here, because your Swords is gone. You have pretty much nothing. I mean, very little, at least. Um, I have a quick effect as well for popping a back row if I need to. Anything else? Um, we're gonna do this. We're just gonna do it. What is that? Bubble Brain. Oh, this thing is annoying. It's a lockdown card. Okay, um, so that's pretty good. Uh, we're gonna normal summon Rescue Rabbit. Rescue Rabbit is a fantastic normal monster support card. Essentially, you can banish it to special summon two normal monsters with the same name from your deck. I'm gonna go with uh, Gene Warp Warwolf. It's amazing. Now, the downside is both monsters get destroyed during the end phase, but that's fine. That's honestly fine because you're supposed to use them for an instant rank 4. Think of Rescue Rabbit as a rank 4 monster, you know? Uh, we also have Emerald again. We can go into Diamond Dire Wolf. Um, I didn't talk about this one, but it's basically dragon support. Um, you can detach uh, to target a level 5 or high drive monster in your grave or special summon that target. It cannot attack this turn. Okay. So... I may want to go into Emerald, uh, the Dite Gusto here. I can also try to pop that card by killing myself with Diamond Dire Wolf. Uh, this card only works on face up monsters, so Castell's not going to be useful. I'm kind of in a little bit of a situation here, but um, I'm going to go with Emerald. I don't know. It's risky. I'm getting greedy. I want Because if I really wanted to ensure that I go through, I could have used Diamond Dire Wolf to kill myself and then pop his card, but it's not worth it. I'd rather do this. Another Digusto here. Uh, Digusto's actually been limited for a while, and it was forbidden for even longer. Essentially, what uh, it, you can do is use one of two effects. Um, you can detach a material to special summon a normal monster from your uh, graveyard, or you can okay enter battle phase. Yeah, or you can um, shuffle three monsters from your. Graveyard. Wait, it's monsters, right? Yeah, and then you draw a card. It's like a mini pot of avarice, kind of. I am actually utilizing the second ability a lot more. The one that's a lot more rare. You don't see that too often. The car was forbidden because of pot of avarice like effects. In case you remember, it was also a, a long period in Yu Gi Oh! where pot of avarice was. You know, limited, then, when, then it went to Forbidden, and so on. But this is actually a fantastic card that I drew. Ancient Rules looks to special summon a level 5 or higher normal monster from your hand. I have a blue eyes. Let's bring it out. So, this here should actually be game. Um, actually, it is game. Because what I can do here is I can go into detaching what, with Digusto. No, 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 not that. We're going to special summon a level 4 monster. Which is going to be another Gene Warp Warwolf, sure. Then we're going to go into Diamond Dire Wolf. This will uh, guarantee that we, you know, kill that thing. What if it's like a monster that can protect itself from battle or something? You know, destruction immunity from battle, then not anymore. Because Diamond Dire Wolf is actually, it's a good support card for Beast, Beast Warrior, and Winged Beast type decks. Um, it's a generic one, so you don't have to commit to just a specific type, but it works very well by, you know, getting rid of cards on your field um, that are Beast, Beast Warrior, or Winged Beast, and you pop up any card that you want. That's it. Enter Battle Phase, and this should actually be it. We're just gonna swing for two attacks, and that's game. So that was only one duel. We didn't see too much yet. Uh, we're going to do another duel, because that was very little. Plus, again, the other duel went a lot better, to be honest. Uh, the one that where the game crashed, so let's just see if this one goes a little bit better. Because the deck can go off, 
It's just a little crazy. I should have gone second, actually. What am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, yes, actually, that's a good starting hand. I have both Rescue Rabbit and Painful Decision, both of which are very good. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go into a... We're gonna go into Rescue Rabbit here. We're gonna Normal Summon Rescue Rabbit. We're going to activate the effect. And we'll just bring out... I guess we want to bring out the shittier ones. The 1900 attackers, because... They're gonna be used right away anyway. Because if you don't use them, they get destroyed, and you don't want that to happen. You want to go into an, into the extra deck. You want to make sure to do that. Alright, then we're going to... I can go into this. I mean, I can go into Link Spider. That wouldn't really do anything, though, if I try to accomplish anything like that. I can go into another Digusto again. I can also go into you, but... All non-effect monsters you control. Hmm, I don't really think I want to go into that one specifically. I suppose we'll do Digusto Emerald. It's a great card to keep giving you more advantage as you keep going. Now, the thing is, you need to actually have a normal monster in your graveyard before you can activate the effect. Um, even though you can special summon the card you just detached, you first need a monster in the graveyard. Um, see? Yeah, I can't do it. But luckily, I have painful decision. Painful decision is really good. Essentially, you foolish burial a level 4 or lower normal monster. I'll send uh, Gene Warp, Wolf Warp, and then you can add one copy of that into the hand immediately. The card does have once per turn on it, though you cannot activate more than one copy per turn. So by doing that, now I can go ahead and do this, because now I have a normal monster in the graveyard. So now I can detach an Andal, and I can bring out Warwolf. Now unfortunately, that's kind of it for my turn, because uh, I can go over here, but I don't really see the point in doing this. So I'm going to go into a Link Spider, Special Summon, then I can, yeah, then I can bring out a monster from my hand. But then that's going to be a 2, and it's not really generating all that much right now. It's a little pointless, so I'm just going to go ahead and set this card, and end the turn. Now, if I am forced to use Justy Break, my Digusto is going to go down, unfortunately. Let's see what you do, though. Alright, that's perfect. You're setting. I guess my techs are a little too high for you. I mean, it is Yuma. He has pretty much trash monsters. Like, really bad stuff. Okay, Unexpected Die, that card is not going to help us right now. Uh, let's go ahead and use the effect here. We're going to detach Andal to bring out Andal. So Digusto is now out of material, so he's pretty much useless. Uh, we can go into something, that'd be great, but I don't know if we can. We can also Normal Summon. In fact, we have to do this. We're going to Normal Summon Vorse Raider here. Um, let's see, I can go into a 2, that would actually be pretty good. Uh, I think it's time to introduce a new one here. We're gonna go into Defender of the Labyrinth, because if I do that, that's be 1, 2, and I can... Oh, we have a lot of back row cards, that's actually very scary. I don't think I should do it then, actually. Not quite yet, because it's, what, 500? No, we, we have to do Tornado Dragon, we have to do it. We're gonna go for these two. Okay. Just like that. We are going to uh, activate your effect. We're going to detach one. Pop one. Oh, it's a Waboku. Okay. Well, that was kind of pointless there. Uh, what we can do, though, is we can... T oh, shoot. I mean, I can go into links. I can... Uh, no, I actually... Oh, well, that's because I put you there. I'm such an idiot. No, no, there's not even any point in doing that. I will just attack you, though, so I can flip you up. Okay, now I know what it is. Uh, and a turn, so it's kind of a bad situation here. Um, mainly because Justy Break's not going to help me too much, even if you try to attack me. Okay. Uh, sure, let's just, might as well use the effect. What is that? Okay. So you're gonna go into what, Utopia? Yeah, for like the 45th time in this Let's Play. 
we seen Yuma go into that thing. Oh, you put into defense mode. Oh, that is very interesting. I don't know why you did that. It's like, do you like know I have a justy break? What? Oh, okay, okay, I see. You're gonna go into that. Okay. C39 Utopia Ray. So this is the one with the bad effect. I think. What well, actually it might not be. I'm not sure yet. What the heck? I don't even know what's happening right now. I'm just letting him play out his stuff however he wants to. Okay. That's a lot of materials, by the way. That's like a lot. Um, okay. It didn't even really give me the chance. Oh, wait, it's because he hasn't attacked. It didn't even give me the chance to activate Justy Break. Something's happening to the point where I actually have no clue. I actually have no clue. This might be Yuma's first victory against me. Something prevented me from activating Justy Break. I don't know this card well at all, that's why. Your opponent cannot... Oh, now I see. Um, okay, so that's actually, I think... It might be a loss. Um, I mean, we gotta try something. We'll just, we'll do this. Unexpected die. We'll bring out... An Andal, sure. Okay. I mean, then we, we have to normal summon. I mean, we don't have another play here. What if I can do something? So, if this card attacks in the gate back row, if this card has to be Tobin Monster as X Seeds, when this card clears an attack and a phase, you can attach one X Seeds between this card and you get the opponent's face of monsters. Back row, so this card gains attack, you the monsters attack, this means, okay, whatever. You can target when you tell a monster to equip this card, it gains a thousand attack. This card is equipped, that monster can attack almost three opponent controls once each. Okay, so we would have to get rid of that stupid thing in the back, but I don't even know if I can. Um, I can do this. I get one face of monster in the field, change the face of defense position. Wait, would it work? Would it actually work? You come in monster reams against 1000 attack. I think it actually works. You do so little, but you don't have any protection? or Unless I'm missing this. Let's see. I feel like for all that much effort, that monster should have some protection. Unless I'm missing that sentence and I didn't read it. Uh, let's let's give it a shot to see if this actually works. Might as well try, right? Uh, detach one to defense mode. Detach two to shuffle it into the deck. This one. Oh my god, it actually worked. And this is exactly why Yuma and his freaking Xyz monsters are pure trash. Even when he does an epic play, special summon if you do, oh, that's that's fine. Um, obviously, I would have to say uh, no to that, right? Uh, but but like, look at this. What the hell is this, man? Like, even when he does some crazy plays, like he still man, he still finds a way to like screw it all up, you know? <laughs> I just I just don't get this. I I don't get this guy, man. All right, well, this thing is is this the bad effect? No, this one's actually a different one. Never mind. You can detach one material from this card and target one of this monster and fill change to face on defense precision. That's the wrong thing. You can also actually summon. I was like, wait, isn't that just Castell? <laughs> okay. Uh, you can also actually summon this card by using a number 39 Utopia control as X, okay, whatever, whatever. Uh, you can detach one excuse material from this card against having an attack, and if it does, one must be one. Element. Okay, these changes last until the end. No, no, it is that one. Okay, it is that same one. So you can't even use that effect. All I can really do here, well, I guess I'll activate Painful Decision because I'm trying to get rid of all the monsters. Since I don't really want pure normal monsters. Um, I'm just gonna normal summon and pass. That's all I can do. Because I can do this, and I can go into Link Spider. And then special summon another monster. That'll give me a 2. But I can't go into any of these because Link monsters don't have anything. I can... Uh... The only one I'd be able to go to would be this one. Non-effect monsters you control getting 500 attack. If, uh, that wouldn't do anything. So I'm just gonna do this and hope that Justy Break actually works. That's the only plan that I have. Wow, I can't believe this duel is actually taking a long time. This guy's actually giving me some trouble. It's mainly because I kind of bricked-ish. Nah, not really, because I had a rescue rabbit. But I guess I'm just not doing that well. The first duel was going really well and then the game crashed. 
I mean, naturally, this deck is not great, you know? It's only solid average, I guess, you can say. So I should run into some problems. But some of you actually want to see that. You don't want to see me just own everybody. Now, this is the reason why this deck has a lot more potential. Um, I've also been getting unlucky with getting this field spell. It says, all non-effect monsters in the field are unaffected by monster effects. Once per turn, if your opponent's special summons an effect monster where you control a face-down monster or non-effect monster, you can draw two cards. It's a great card. Great card. All right, we're going to do this. We're going to uh, normal summon Alexandrite Dragon. Sounds great. We're going to special summon. You can go into you. You can detach one spell summon and triumph in your hand. You can, uh, that's not what I want. Um, you can detach one. I can probably go into that. Can't I? Do I have a blue eyes? No, but I do have another Alexandrite Dragon. I'm not totally sure what the hell that would do, but it could be something. Not really, because I'd rather keep it like this, because uh, my monsters are actually unaffected by your monster, so. That's pretty good. Okay, uh, we're just going to end a turn here. We're just going to end it. Alright, you're going into main phase here. Swords of Burning Light. We control the monsters. Monsters your opponent controls cannot declare attacks. If you control a monster or if your opponent has five or more cards in their hand, destroy this card. Okay, um... Normal Summon. Uh, here I'm going to go into... One other card in the field. I guess I can do that. I think I want to. That'll do two, then I can get rid of... I can go into this one. That'd be two monsters available, I think. I can detach one and target a level five or higher dragon. Yeah, no, that wouldn't work. That only works on blue eyes. So we have to go into Diamond Dire Wolf here. We're going to use both of the Alexandrite dragons for this. Okay. So Diamond Dire Wolf. Put you right there. And I guess I'm going to go ahead and detach. And we're going to... As much as I want to pop this one instead, because this one has protection, I also have another Xyz material on Diamond Dire Wolf still, so I want to actually save that in case... You know... I'd, oh, wait a minute. I thought this card... Oh, shoot. I'm sorry. I thought this card said protect undefected by your opponent's monster's effects. I didn't even realize that, but the game just helped me out there because I forgot about that. Like, completely. Like, I com I fully knew that that card was there, but I actually thought that its effect was that it protects you from your opponent's monster's effects. So, I just found out a nice combo there with Diamond Dire Wolf. That field spell is up. Nice. So, yeah, use the Bacon card there. Oh, what the heck? Um... Use the effect. Use the effect. Yes. Draw two. Thank you. That's why this card is good for normal monster decks. Like, seriously, you get to just draw cards every turn. Your opponent is always going to be special summoning monsters, so, like, what the heck, you know? Alright, so I have a, I have a couple things here. What are you going to do? I mean, the smart move for you is to attack Diamond Dire Wolf. If you don't attack Diamond Dire Wolf, you are screwed next turn. Smart. Smart AI. Alright. Now I have Gene Warped Warwolf. This guy keeps bringing his Utopias out of nowhere. Another Gene Warped Warwolf. Okay, so I'm, what I'm going to want to do here is go into uh, Rescue Rabbit. Oh my god, I'm out of targets. I'm such an idiot. I'm such an idiot. No way. No! Crap, I just wasted my freaking... Oh no, that's so bad. That's actually really bad. Whoops. Um, I suppose I'll do Gene Warp Warwolf here. My bad. That means I should have just summoned another Gene Warp Warwolf. I could have had three on the field. This one requires two normal monsters. Uh, however, your effect will still affected by monster effects. I'm taking the to get to tag this card start. I, I don't think that would actually work. Okay, so what I would have to do here. Those are all my options. I don't actually have a play. Because I think your effect... 
I've used up all my XC's monsters. Seriously. I've used all of them up. Um... And I can't even get rid of the, the rescue route. Man, I just totally screwed this up. I actually really botched this. Like, really, really badly. Because this is not going to do anything. Um... I can't... Not even Link... Well, I mean... If I do Link Spider... Honestly, I don't think that would do anything, but I guess I can try. But I really doubt that. I really doubt it. Okay, then go there. And then... What would what, what I do here? Oh yeah, okay, I do have this one. Okay. So that did actually work. So this is a good card. It cannot be destroyed by battle with an effect monster. If you control no, uh, no other effect monsters, you can destroy effect monsters your opponent controls. If you control no other effect monsters, okay, you can destroy effect monsters your opponent controls up to a number of non-effect monsters you control and in your graveyard. So I have to control no other effect monsters. So I have to get rid of this thing, this thing, and then, sure, that one. That way I'll get rid of all the effect monsters. I can activate the effect. Okay, so I'm actually... I actually did it. Activate the effect. Get rid of that crap. And that is it. That's a really good card. This one. Draco Masters of the Ten Yi for normal monster decks. Alright, that duel took forever. Um, a little ridiculous, right? We're doing another one. We're doing another duel. We're already like over 25 minutes here. This is crazy. Right, so we are dueling Nash. Okay. This is a interesting hand, but the blue eyes white dragons are going to be dead in my hand. I have not drawn a single copy of Trade in yet. Nor nor do I have an ancient rule, so that could be a problem. Either way, I have to do this to thin out the deck. Oh my god, the game crashed again. Okay, we're doing this again because the game crashed. I freaking hate this game. It crashes all the time. Alright, so we actually started with two unexpected die, which is a little awkward. We keep getting awkward first hands. Like, what the hell? Okay, so we're gonna go with, uh, we're gonna bring in a Gene Warp Warwolf, sure. Let's do that. Uh, then we can go ahead and get a Rescue Rabbit right away. Sure, I mean, we could also... Yeah, let's let's normal summon the rescue rabbit. I suppose. I suppose that, that that's fine. All right, activate. We're gonna banish uh, or that, and then we're gonna bring out Gene Warp Warwolf and Gene Warp Warwolf. We already got three copies of Gene Warp Warwolf. Whoa, crazy. So everything in my hand is dead. Can't do anything, but I can go over here to make a play if I want to. Um, I guess I can go into. Yeah, Link Spider wouldn't really be all that useful, at, at the moment at least. Um, I can go for a Tornado Dragon. I have a couple options, but let's just, let's do this. I haven't actually really like shown this at all, but... This is Defender of the Labyrinth. Resembles a card way long ago called uh, Guardian of the Labyrinth. Really shitty normal monster card, but... Yeah, uh, okay, so all of them, there it again, and then you lose stats, too. I guess I'll leave it, well, I mean, you're only going to be at 1400, though. That could be a problem. I could also go into Draco Masters. Two plus monsters, including a Link monster. Um. Yeah, I may, I may want to do that instead. Because it's a little risky having this to 1400 attack. Yes, it has recursion, but... It's still a little risky, because I won't be able to go into Draco Masters anymore after that. Also has really good arrows, by the way. Cannot be destroyed by battle with an effect monster. If you control no other effect monsters, you can destroy effect monsters when it controls up to a number of non-effect monsters you control and or in your graveyard. Alright. So... You put two back row cards. That could be quite scary indeed. Um, I can't do that either. I can normal summon and then go into another 
why it's there. I, mean, I don't know what else I'm gonna use this for, so I might as well do it. I'm gonna put you right there. Sure. Okay. And then, see, if we then go into Link Spider, that also wouldn't really do anything. Um, because it's an effect monster anyway. And this thing is actually giving us some attack power, so we're gonna go in for an attack. It's very risky here, depending on what your back row is, but we gotta do it. Okay, that was useless. Minus 21. Minus 11. And good thing I have an Alexandrite Dragon because uh, that means that Fist of the Unrivaled Tenny can actually be used. Or not. But now we get a Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Ha! Sucks to suck. Yeah, so, um, in case you don't know, if that card gets destroyed while it's set, you get to special summon a normal monster. Or, sorry, my bad. A non effect monster. There's a difference. A non effect monster uh, from the extra deck. The main difference is that normal monsters don't exist in the extra deck. Normal is actually its own, like, like characteristic now. Kind of like Flip, or Tune, or Spirit. Stuff like that. Uh, so what the hell is this? When it's normal person, you can manage this card spells them in a little the next step you go. Okay, that's very... What? I don't trust you. I legitimately don't trust you. Um... Here's what we're going to do because I really don't trust you right now. Like, I seriously don't. Uh, we are going to go into... A Tornado Dragon. By getting rid of these two. What the hell are you planning? This guy is... Uh, seriously... You, you can't make a play that stupid unless you are planning something. You could have at least used his effect to bring something else out. So I gotta get lucky here. A 1 in 3 chance of getting rid of the car that you are waiting for me to go for. I'm gonna go for this. What is that? Okay, that was completely useless. God dang it. I'm putting you in defense mode. I'm putting at least you in defense mode. Um. Oh, shoot. Do I dare put... This is a risk. This is a risk. Oh my god, I do I do not trust this. You are definitely doing something. What? Okay, so AIs are just that stupid. Never mind. Alright. Well then. We are gonna go here into this next duel. Future deck, and it's time for a new one. It's time for the mill deck. Yes, everyone's everyone was waiting for this garbage deck. <laughs> okay. Specifically, I'm using an old-school flip mill deck because I didn't actually find other ways to to do other things, like to get in some of the newer stuff. And you'll see, it's a lot of flip monsters. It's a lot of them. All right, here we go. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, nothing like the classics. Okay, so old-school mill decks are they're kind of interesting. Um, you can start with the card destruction typically, and it's a guaranteed milling five, which is nice. But at the same time, I just have so much good stuff, you know? Like, I'm gonna have to get rid of all this crap. We're gonna set this Needle Worm, and you know what? I guess Morphing Jar 2s are gonna go for this duel. I'm gonna use Card Destruction. There we go. I gotta drag down into the grave. Interesting. I put a copy of Shield Worm in here. When this card is summoned, it is changed to defense position. Then send one card from the top of your opponent's deck to the graveyard. For each face of insect type monster you control. It's terrible. It was a filler card. Um, because I kind of ran out of stuff. But everything else I guess is pretty decent. We're going to activate this. Please send the shield worm. Okay. That's. You can keep that. You can keep that I suppose. You can target one. Whatever. Next is. I mean they're all pretty weird. Um, what's your stats? Do I care about? It's going to be one of these. I mean, I guess the call, because you do have a bunch of stuff in here. No, 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 I'm trying to see. Oh, that, that's the limitation of this game. I forgot about that. You can't actually see um, everything in the graveyard when you're checking the field, which is so stupid. So I don't know the other four cards. Let's get rid of Call of the Haunted. 
Hand destruction. I can't activate it yet though because we need at least two cards. We're just gonna end a turn. So I actually want to see if this deck would even work. Um, there is protection in this deck, but I haven't drawn any of it. I have gravity binds, I have level limit area Bs, I have swords revealing light, I have a bunch of stuff. You did not activate the effect. Okay. Here's a needle worm. That's gonna mill five. And then you're okay. I see. I got Desert Sunlight, which is good in some ways, but not really in this this time. We're gonna do hand destruction here, we gotta do it. We're gonna discard both of these. You discard two. I draw two, you draw two. Um For each phase of this monster you control. I guess I'll normal summon this and have you lose one. Sure. Okay. Then we're gonna set this. Well, I already got you down to halfway. Um, which is not bad, not bad. God dang it. Okay, now the MST actually came in clutch. Pretty bad, because you're about to go into, uh, rank 4, more than likely. Which means it's probably not gonna work. Oh, now Kage to Kage, okay. Yeah, that's gonna be a Utopia, probably. Alright, this deck is not going to work. It only works in uh, old school Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, if you take this deck into all those opponents, most of the opponents in the original Yu-Gi-Oh and maybe GX, it would work. But everything beyond that, it wouldn't work because the swarming and special summoning from newer decks is just simply too much. Um, especially if they have a single, even a single backward card can just go ahead and wipe you out completely. And like, that's it, because I already lost my entire hand. Hey, you, like, these decks used to be fun back in the day. They used to work very well. Um, and they were so annoying because back removal was also a lot less, you know, present. But not in this particular case. This might work. Um, it depends. I'm just going to set this. I also wanted to get a copy of Cyber Jar. That, that, that comes from the Joey Wheeler booster pack. But I just grinded so much. That was so over grinding. Like, I would have gone, I would I would have totally gone for a copy of Cyber Jar. I know it's forbidden, but I would follow traditional format and only put one copy. Anything more than that is pure cheating. You know? Okay, so that's one. Please mill some Spiller Traps, please. Wait, that was it? Wait, did I just... Each player's way to go into the exit. Oh, they shovel into their main deck. Okay, I see. Um... This isn't going to work. This is not going to work. Surrender. We're going to get this one more shot. Um, and if it doesn't work, then it doesn't work, you know? Um, I don't think it's going to work, to be honest. It's just too slow because it, it's flip dependent. It's not like Shadals or Subterras, you know, that are modern flip engines that actually have other effects, too. This is exactly why flip effects, um, flip effects and just flip decks in general don't work anymore. They are just way too slow. Like, way too slow. Uh, we're going to set this Needle Worm. We're gonna... No, 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 shut up. We're gonna activate Hand Destruction. Okay. Dark World Dealings. Um, sure, we'll do that. I'll discard that. Why not? And then we're going to go for a Swords. Sure. Let's see if this actually works as it's intended to, you know? Setting. Setting. Okay. Now, if I draw something like Sukuyomi, that would be amazing. That is not what I wanted. Uh, we're going to flip this Needle Worm. That will cause a mill of five. Alright, and then we're gonna end the turn. Because that's all I can do, there's no one attacking. There's Call of the Haunted, okay. Here comes Goblin Burr. Gagaga Caesar. And Gagaga Child.
can destruction, but I can't do that because I need the protection. I, if I risk... Oh, jeez. Okay. So we have one turn left, and I'm gonna probably have to set Gravity Vine. Um, the thing is, you may have a Mystical Space Typhoon, and that's gonna be a huge problem for me if you end up doing that. Okay, that's three turns. Let's see what I draw. This is very important. I mean, that also works. Let's actually see if this ends up uh, working quite well. We're gonna we're gonna activate this. Okay. Now these two can still attack, which I guess it's not it's not really a big deal. Um, but we are going to end the turn. I guess I could have attacked his goblin never, but I eh, even then, what if he triggers something? You know. What what the hell is this? What are you going for? Heroic Champion Excalibur. Oh, great. Oh, no, no, that's fine. That's fine. That's not the one I'm thinking of. Until the end of your opponent's next turn. Well, that's the downside of this. <laughs> These cards that focus on levels, you know? That's your problem, too. A any... Any Link monster or Xyz monster is completely immune to cards like Gravity Mine and Level Limit Area B, which is very unfortunate too. So, as you can see, there's a lot of problems. There's a, there's a lot of problems with the deck that just doesn't functionally work. Um, I suppose I'm gonna have to... Yeah, I mean, I have to do card destruction with all three cards. I don't have a choice here. There is a Swords right there, that's not bad. We can actually set this. And we're gonna have to activate Swords here because we don't have a choice. And then end the turn. You're, so you're at 20, you're about to be at 19. With the Needleworm you'll be at 14. It works, but it's a lot of luck depending if you get the right stall cards. And that's even if you don't destroy... What? Let me please reconnect. The game's tripping. And I had to put a Defender. Yeah, okay. We're gonna flip this thing. This is gonna let you, uh, it's gonna make you mill five more. Then we're gonna set this. And we're going to end a turn. Alright, there's gonna be two. We're running out of stuff here, but I do have a defender that I can set next turn. And that seems to be my. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, going into another Axis play over here. <laughs> sure, why not, right? Whatever. And then, what the heck? That's, uh, that's a lot of plays. Lots of feel... The, the, the other problem with this is that you end up giving your opponent so much field presence that they can just start spamming everything. Like, everything. Wow. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna make it. That is... Hmm. Not exactly... I mean, I gotta do it. If you pull something crazy, I'm gonna have to try to do this, you know? What in the w Why didn't you just MST the sword? Okay, this guy could have won over- So, you can clearly see, if you were dealing a competent opponent, you would have no shot. Because co any competent opponent would have MST the, the, the swords revealing light right there. There's no way they would not have done that. You know? Like, what the heck? Desert Tapper. The problem with this is that it's a turn too late, or else I could have actually made a play with this. Um, but I can't actually do that, I don't think. We're gonna end the turn here, too. If I got out of the turn early, I could have flipped it to put Needleworm back and then make you lose another five cards, but I don't think it's going to work. Gagaga girl. 
Yeah, level limit area B is useless right now. As you can see, it's not working on a single monster. God damn it. God damn it. And you attacked in the freaking order that... Well, I guess we'll flip down... Does it even matter? Actually, I would have to flip. Oh no, it has to wait, it has to be a... Flip one face-up monster on the field into face-down defense position. You cannot select... Oh, is it because it can't be targeted? I cannot target that monster? Oh, I see, I see. So I guess I'll do this thing then. Yeah, no, I'm dead, because I think it actually... Oh, okay, okay, you actually attacked in the... In the right order for me, um, God, but I needed, I needed, oh man, that is a problem. That is a huge problem. Nope. I did it down to eight, and I'm going to lose this next turn, because Defender can't take the hit from this card, so I would lose. I got you down to eight, though. That's fine, uh, but, okay, you saw a bit of a mill deck. That's obviously not going to work in the modern era. Okay, we just did this duel because screw that. Um, I had already lost twice. I, I, I didn't want to force you all to just see a, a third duel against that guy. Plus, I'm trying to complete all of his Exile in this video anyway. And I wouldn't be able to do that because I still have to do three duels. Now only two more duels left. I'm just going to go with my typical Harpies here just so I can, you know, make a lethal push here really fast before the one hour mark. Hopefully I can. I'm not sure if I will be able to, but I want to keep these videos typically under one hour. So we'll see what happens. Uh, all we're gonna do here is normal summon, and then we're just gonna we're gonna set three. I mean, if you wipe out my back row, I may lose automatically. Uh, we'll see what happens. It wasn't too great of a starting hand. No harpy channeler, no terraforming or hunting ground to make some plays for next turn either. To pop some back row, we'll see what happens. Okay, that's gonna be an instant ring four probably, which is fine. I mean, I have my. Mirror Force and stuff like that, so I should be okay. Just gotta wait until you make all your damn plays. Rainbow Karibo. And then you can target... What the hell was that? You can target that attacking monster with this card from your hand to that monster. When it must be players attack, when this card is in your graveyard, you can just on this card right now. Okay. So it doesn't do anything on the field then, if I read that right. Only from the graveyard or the hand. Uh, so he succeeded in special summoning. I don't really care. No, no, no. God damn it. I thought it was the... There you go. Attack. Okay, we're just gonna do this right now. Okay, so kill that. Get rid of all your stuff. End phase. Okay. Simple enough. Another... Ooh, I'm, this is a very bricky hand. As you can see, I, I mean, I'm surviving because I drew my good trap cards, but in terms of generating plays, very bricky. But let's see if I can keep going with like this, right? Uh, the answer is probably no. I can't. Um, there's no point in using Icarus attack for that crap. No. And turn. And then you still have Rainbow Creep. Okay, I'm still really far from beating this guy. There's no way I'm close. Goblin the Burr. Okay. What are you doing? Another, yep, another play. This time I am going to be forced to use Icarus Attack, more than likely. I wish you could disable these summoning animations, though. Seriously, like, we've seen these things so many times, and, so, and since we're always fighting protagonists, that's why we always see things like freaking utopia and stuff like that and there's stupid animations all the time. Wait, what is this? The four- no, I wanna get, go into the battle phase first. Okay. Icarus attack. Tribute. Pop both. That's my play. Are you su- Okay, I'm not doing this duel. You saw, I was gonna win. Okay, I did it this time. Nice. We're just trying to get, hurry this up. And then last duel here, we're gonna do um, Harpies once again. I, I love my Harpies, you know? Next episode, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do if I'm gonna make more decks or just kind of go down the list and do one duel at a time with each deck. It's very possible that I may do that. Uh, just because I'm finding time to keep making more and more decks, so uh, it's 
becoming more difficult. And I'm trying to crank these out daily, you know, on a daily basis here, so. Card, card, D. Okay, do we make these one as cards? Also, you can tribute this card, draw two cards. Okay, he was gonna do it, so let's say it draws two end phase. Funny enough, that card actually saw play in competitive play. <laughs> Uh, which is really ridiculous if you think about it. Okay, what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna activate Harpy's Hunting Ground, and uh, I know we can target one or whatever during the end phase. Okay, we just get to normal summon a Harpy Lady one, and then just pop your back row and attack. I know it seems very bland, but like that's the best that I feel we can do at the moment. What is that? Oh, Gagaga Bolt. Okay, then we're gonna set two. There we go. Then we're going to enter battle phase, swing for 18, and pretty good first turn there. Enter. Alright. If you try to make some kind of comeback, I hope you have at least two cards. That way I can just Icarus attack you. That'd be great. Uh, you can only activate one, send one card from hand, then after to two, whatever. Okay, whatever. They're gonna add, there's one, there's two. Alright. You put the bacon- oh, Jesus. Um... Yeah, there's not much I can do. Okay. Sure. Whatever. So, I mean, what I can do is- hmm... This is interesting. Wait, you're bringing out Gagaga Cowboy. Okay. Um, I mean, there's not... Yeah, I don't think it's worth using freaking... What the heck? Equivalent to Wartime Monster Applies Effect. It gains attack equal to its range of defense. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm just gonna take the damage here. Um, should I? Actually, you know what? No, screw it. I'm doing this. Hysteric Party. Like, seriously, what the hell? And the Stormworld special you can target. Okay, we're gonna send Harvest. And they're gonna bring both out. So there's Harpy Lady. And then there's Harvest. Okay, that's gonna trigger a replay. Or. Oh, wait, I have to pop two. Shit. Uh, no. No. Making sure I'm doing this right. Okay, well, it's actually... That means I don't actually need to use my Icarus attack. Okay, so if they're summoned at the same time... By the way, I didn't mention this, but if they're summoned at the same time, you still only get to pop one card, because it's saying when it's... Um, if it's normal or special summon, the player who... Yeah, makes sense. That was the worst card I could have drawn. Wonderful. But at least I'm in a good position here, so I'm gonna have to do this. And probably pop... Am I going to want to pop my own Harpy's Hunting Ground? Because I kind of want to keep... Oh, shit. I guess I'm going to have to do it, unfortunately, but... You know, I, I got to do this. Um, and there's not a whole lot more I can do right now. We're just going to... Uh, attack you for five. And then just do a bunch of damage here. I'm pretty sure I got this duel, because no matter what you try to pull next turn, I have an Icarus attack. Um... Oh yeah, whatever. Get rid of that card. And then enter. Alright. 4100. Gotta finish this fast. I'm trying. I'm trying over here. What are you doing? Setting. Well, um, I guess I'll just do it. Oh, so it says pop up to top to two, so I'm gonna, uh... Sorry, this one is tied to both of those, so if I just do... If I tribute, let's say, this one... Then do that, and then do... That'll be, what, 16... Plus... Wait, 16? What's the attack of this one? Oh, I wanna keep that one, so I'm gonna get rid of this thing. There we go. And then we can go ahead and do a normal summon. And then we can add an elegant egotist into the hand, and that'll give us game. Yep. Perfect. 
Uh, activate elegant egotist. Bring out. Doesn't really matter which thing I bring out. Just bring that thing, and that's gonna be it. All right, so. I'm going to end the video here. Uh, next time we're going to go into the next segment, which is going to be Arc 5. Oh, great. Pendulums. Wonderful. That's going to be crazy. All right, so before I end this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoy the video. I will see you all later. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day. Ooh, Kagaka Cowboy.